but look what I have spotted up here. What do we got? We've got elves <laughs> sitting. Oh, is that a Starbucks? Fresh roasted coffee, North Pole, Claw's Coffee Shop and Cafe. You've got the elves sitting here uh, eating coffee and donuts. Oh, I love seeing that they're just bringing out new stuff. Ooh, that looks very promising. He just reached right out and got me. Ooh, he got me good. feels like midnight. Man, I don't like this time change stuff. And uh, I am here at Goodwill. Now, I was here on Black Friday, so I'm always interested to see how quickly they can get these shelves restocked. So uh, we're going to go in here. It has been several days now, and we're going to see what new goodies are on the shelves. Hopefully it's all restocked and we find some amazing things. So without further ado, let's get in there. Let's get shop done. All right, let's go see. It is a crisp, clear night. Kind of, it's under 50 degrees. It's a chilly one. It's a, probably like our chilliest one so far. Oh, these all have trash in them. See, I don't find trash lucky. Let's go. It's only got a little trash in it. All right, we'll go with this one. Let's go in. And it looks like we are purple this week. I keep seeing this is their yellow tag stuff and um, there's no discounts or anything. I, I'm just, I'm kind of enamored with these little Santa planter buckety things. I keep feeling like I need one. But we'll see. We'll see. It's something that's on my mind. But I know they ha it's not like something I have to get right now. Like it's not going to be here next time because all the stores have them. They're in good stock. There's a few little wise guys. They're not anything high quality. Oh, but look, here's an adorable, adorable air blown inflatable 22 inch Santa. <laughs> it's $5.99. I don't think I need a uh, 22 inch Santa. We'll just leave him right there. And we'll go up here. These are interesting. Again though, look who's missing. We are missing Jesus. And they're made in China, so nothing nothing too spectacular. Oh, but look what I have spotted up here. Bits and Floyd. Is that, that one doesn't say, like, I'm gonna turn it around and see if it is. This one's Fitz and Floyd. This one's Fitz and Floyd. They're only $5 each. Let's see, I bet you this one just, yep, that one is also fits employed. We're gonna grab those. Yeah, that was a nice little score right off the bat. That is really a cute, I think it's a Better Homes and Garden, cute little mug there. Yep. Look at this Santa dish. It's a, it's a hobbyist piece. Is this a Wachter Spock? No, oh, it's home and garden party. It had that color, it had that flavor to it. Cute little Kirkland trees. I don't know how much you are. Wait, this one's priced $4.99. They were $15 at Kirkland. I'm looking for things too for my home decorating. Do you guys, do you ever get bored of your Christmas decorations and you gotta get something new and different? I like trees. I'm kind of a fan of the trees, so again, if these are not worth reselling, they will go in my own decor. Just look, this lady just put these back over here. More little whimsical trees, $14.99, but these are, these are like Dr. Seuss type whimsical trees. So I am going to grab both of these, I do believe. Are you $14.99 also? You probably are. That's okay. I love you. You're coming with me. We've got a star dish. It's kind of cool. All right, I'm pretty happy. Ooh, I see something. 
that is great to use with nativity sets. Now it is a Limax, which makes the train, yeah, it makes the train scene stuff. $4.99. But again, you can also use this in your nativity scenes, and I'm all about the nativity scenes right now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. What are you? Oh, are you a... What are you? Oh, you're a little... Are you an advent? Oh, you are. Okay. I was like, I was looking for the little numbers. They're used advents. I'm not sure anybody's going to buy a used advent. Oh, I have so many of these decoration type things and I'm trying desperately to get them dug out of my garage and either get them down to the store for sale or get them up. All right, we must look at this large candle guy. It's kind of cool. 31 inch lighted candle. How much are you? You are $7.99. I feel like that's a good price if you are in working condition. He looks okay. The little top kind of, but it's meant, to, it's wired that way. And then there's just a regular little bulb thingy in there. Do you sit just down on there? Yeah, I feel like that's functional. I feel like I need that for $7.99. Then I see a Mickey's, a Mickey's holiday skaters thing. It's $14.99. It's a Mr. Christmas. Oh, Mickey Unlimited, 50 great songs. I feel like this is probably worth some money. Let's uh, do a little comp and check it out. OMG, wait till you guys see what this comp's out for. I'm definitely putting it in the cart and it'll be included in the recap at the end of my shopping. Okay, now there's this, this one too. Now this one is not Disney. This one is just the regular holiday skaters, but it's also Mr. Christmas and it's also $14.99. And I have sold one of these before. I actually sold one of these to another reseller for 50 bucks. So I know this is at least 50 bucks all day long. So I'm putting this one in the cart too. The other thing I can tell is by the tag, those items were just brought out today. They have not been sitting here on the floor. So I just have some really good timing tonight. That's a really cute soap dish. Look at her face. She's just resin, but she's kind of, she's kind of cute. What do we got? We've got elves <laughs> sitting. Oh, is that a Starbucks? Fresh roasted <laughs> coffee, North Pole, Claus Coffee Shop and Cafe. You've got the elves sitting here. Uh, eating coffee and donuts and you know Santa's serving them this is pretty detailed oh and it does something it's got a volume button who makes you it does not say Roman Roman ink $14.99 again I just feel like that oh but it's broken it's broken right here is that an easy fix or a hard fix it's like a little clip there that's busted on that it's got the wire that holds it. I guess, I mean, that could be glued fairly easily, but you'd have to disclose it in a list. I just feel like that's worth way more than $15. So I'm going to snag it. Oh, goodness gracious. I guess it's our night for Christmas. 12 days of Christmas. Ugh, oh, missing, missing two of the days. Are these glass? Let's see. They are glass. Who makes you, I wonder? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. All right. If that had had the other two days, I would have been very, very tempted to pick that up. We've got ribbon, tree topper. What are you? Oh, I thought I saw strawberries in that. Not strawberries, but now we've got little trees. Again, me and my nativity scenes. Those are some pretty fantastic trees. I love those. I'm grabbing those for $3.99. Look at these sad little Charlie Brown Christmas trees. <laughs> so adorable. Gotta love them. We got a Mikasa crystal platter teddy bear. Mm -hmm. 
ceramic teapot. Oh, he's cute. Oh, he's a candle holder. There's that glass pumpkin again. All right, I, I think I got all the good stuff except, oh, a glitter tree. Oh, $3.99. Again, guys, I'm looking for some things for myself. <gasps> except this is really damaged up at the top there. Let's see if you'll focus. Yeah, all right. If that wasn't damaged, I'd get it because I kind of love it, but we're going to leave that one. And let's see. All right, mostly dishes. Ooh, <laughs> look at that wreath. Wow, it's my color. It's my color. $5.99. Do I need you? I don't. I have a really nice natural wreath, and this one, the bow is a little wonky. All right, the blue pulled me in, but the quality is pulling me back out. Let's see what we got. One last Christmas shelf here. 20, I don't even know what that is. Sonoma Goods for Life, a little scented wax cube warmer, angel. Ornaments, more ornaments, outdoor decorative. <gasps> Ooh, those are not Christmas. Those are amazing flamingo lights for $2.99. I will take you. Bandstand bears. Hmm. Oh, feels like something's missing here. It is a Mr. Christmas. It needs its plug and it needs all that. Okay, we're gonna, that one we're going to leave. Let's see what these ornaments in the baggie are because I see that gingerbread man. It's kind of cute. Yeah, nothing, nothing too exciting. I think, I think we got the good stuff. I think we did. Except then I looked down and I saw this little baby mouse. Baby mouse, there's your hat. Let's see, is your hat just. Did it just come off of you? Oh, his ears are in there, which is okay. He was 50 bucks when he was new. So his ears are in there. I think we're gonna put him in the cart and we are gonna go test and make sure he still works because he fits right into my whole little uh, Christmas display that I put up. Oh wait, let's see how much you are. Let's see how much you are, little mouse. You are not priced oh there you are 4.99 yeah that's a no-brainer oh i love seeing that they're just bringing out new stuff paint a st oh look what it is it's a paint a stepping stone and it's a turtle and that's a that's a definite yes at 2.99 wow this is turning into a really really good shopping trip who the thunk? Kitchen conversions. I actually have that chart for Noah, although nobody really like measures anything that way. We've got this gnome guy here. He's meant to go in the garden. He was $9.99. Now he's $3.99. Yeah. He's not super cool. Chicago Blackhawks. 2012 so I feel like they're probably doing away with that um, team mascot thing there so that could be a collectible item Look at that elephant candle oh it's kind of cool but he is a candle and I stay away from candles I'll let somebody else do the candle that's a little snow white story time kid but we don't need her all right let's see what's already made it to the shelves i love it the shelves all look fresh and new with stuff i haven't seen before oh he's a little wax warmer thing that plugs in uh, let's see little vegas piggy bank spotted this little glass pumpkin here with a little swirl handle it's a candle holder. I really like that for $2.99. Yep, I'm still pumpkin crazy. Yeah, let's take a peek. I don't, oh, this is missing its stem. It's a little mercury glass guy. Here, let's give you your own space and let the plate have its own space. Got a 
big gear down there. Oh goodness, look at him. It is a big piggy dish, unfortunately. It's pure one. So unfortunately, he's got a big chip on his nose and he is $14.99. So him, we will leave for now. And we'll look at Boo, the world's cutest dog. Let's see what this is. If I can get it open one-handed. <gasps> in there oh goodness stand by okay he's cute he's cute oh he's kind of like um uh almost like um like a stone critters feel he was 13.99 and he's marked boo on the bottom he is really really cute i think he's wearing a little witch's hat though so it's kind of halloween themed let me see if I, now the trick is i've got to get him back back in the box Nope, that's not how, how, did, how are you in there, boo? Boo, work with me here, dude, work with me. I'm gonna get you back in the box. Maybe, like that, let's see. Oh gosh, I'm always bad at these puzzles. Okay, all right, I think I got it. $7.99 is probably a bit much to pay, but I feel like this time of year, I can get away with it, and I can get some good money for boo, yeah. We'll go ahead and get Boo. Something else. Oh, it's a big shoe wine holder. Oh, where's Carrie when I need her? She would be behind me doing the little ghosty noise. It was $1.49. Yeah, like, uh, what did that say? Big Lots? I feel like that's a Big Lots keg. <laughs> uh, ooh, that's a pretty little basket. How did I miss that? Eh, it's not as good in person. Like, it looked good from a distance, and then it's very cheaply made. All right. Candle holders. Ooh, a little alabaster dove. These don't bring much, unfortunately. Um, but again, I do have a little bird crazy daughter, and this little guy would be a good stocking stuffer. And look! He's got a friend! So they're $3.99 each. I am going to grab those. Stack of, stack of books. That would be a cute little display stand, wouldn't it, though? Hmm, it's got me thinking. It's got, it's got me thinking. Like, that would be a really cute display piece. I'm going to grab that. Oh man, I am only on the first aisle and I have a really, really full cart. And then I find frogs. Let's see, does one of you have your little labeling uncovered expressly for something? Let's see, expressly for ML, okay. You know, we've gotta, we've gotta try to see what that says. Is it something good? I don't know. It's a nice, uh, kind of a thick material it's not like cheaply cheaply made for ML Chasen company ML or Chabin ML Chabin ML Chabin company and how much are you $2.99 I think we're gonna leave the one with the chip and we'll grab we'll grab his friends those would look great look great those would go great in a whatnot sale I almost feel guilty leaving the little guy behind. I hope somebody picks him up too. This guy's thinking about it. <laughs> He's always thinking. This guy's always thinking. I don't know why he doesn't put some clothes on to do his thinking though. I've never understood why he's sitting here thinking naked, but you know, guys will be guys. This appears to be a Hummel. Do you think? is somebody's already peeled this tag before me to see the mark that is a full b mark right there this is an older hummel and it does have a big chip on the bottom which is unfortunate that really does affect its value i feel like i need to rescue this i have a special place in my heart for hummels my grandmother collected Hummels. He's got a little chip on the bunny ear too. My grandmother collected Hummels and I just, I remember helping her um, 
document all of her Hummels and adjust the price values for the insurance company and ugh, four dollars. I'm gonna rescue you, little guy. I'm just I'm just in the business of uh, doing some rescuing tonight, I guess. Because sometimes you just gotta. Oh, look at these. Uh, are they brown? Was it the Brown Company or Brown Sugar Company? Okay, they're not marked. Little Scotty dog. Sugar mold, sugar cookie molds. I'm thinking, uh, those I think I'm gonna leave. I will leave, I will leave those for now. If they're still here after, you know, things go discount, I would, I would pick them up. Ooh, that looks very promising. Look at the size of this guy. He's huge. Like I can't get him all in my camera frame. He's got to be like 18 inches tall. Sadly, he's got some damage to his little beak here. But it's such a magnificent piece of ironwood. I think I have to rescue this one too. They want $14.99. I think that's a steal. Oh my goodness, I don't know what that is. It looks super heavy. It's a vase. Okay, I don't need it. I don't need that. I might need these candles. Those are pretty nice. It is $4 each though. They're newer. I don't see any markings or a name. They're kind of beautiful though. Look at their, I'm, I'm leaning toward them being Polish or Czech glass is kind of my feeling. It would be $8 for the pair. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure that uh, leaves me enough meat on the bone. Oh, we will leave those behind. Tonight, they may call to me if they're still here. Next time, they might call to me. I've got a bag of Santas. Nothing, nothing too fabulous. All right. We got, oh, look at, it's another one of these teddy bears. I recently showed you guys that these things, for some reason, uh, bring some pretty good money, but I am not, I'm not, I'm just not in the mode of listing on eBay, and that's really where that would need to be sold. So I'm gonna leave that one. I will pick up eBay items if they're, you know, really, really good eBay, like 50 plus eBay items, and he's, he's like a 2025, so. That is an interesting piece of student pottery right there. Um, nothing that we want to take home. Medieval times. Looking through both sides here. See some little sparkly trees. Now nah, those don't excite me. Those don't excite me. That that little fake plant right there kind of does, but I don't need it right now. Oh, goodness gracious. That's a neat, um, like this little thing here is kind of a neat display type piece. I'm not sure where I would have a purpose for it at this time. We got some jungle animals. Where are you guys? Just little, oh, napkin rings. I remember seeing those last time I was here. That was a pretty trivet. Boston warehouse. Very, very pretty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that. What a great sign. You wake up, you read that every day. Set your mindset. That would be a fantastic thing. Cute. Cute. Oh, it's another love you more sign. I have I have plenty though hanging in my kids' rooms. I think they know. I think they, they know mom loves them. Pretty sure they do. I'm getting down to these cute little apples. They're just little hand painted, strung on this little rope here. They're $3.99. I'm kind of finding them irresistible. Yes, I am. They're coming with me. Ooh. Give me an M. Let's see, $3.99, yeah. I don't think that's exciting enough to uh, hang on my letter wall. 
A cool seagull there. I'm, I'm getting to this meatball and slider grill basket by Pampered Chef. $4.99. I think I'm going to look this one up. Well, it's a very sad thing right now. These are only bringing like $12 to $15. Now, those are used ones. This might bring a little closer to $20, but it's not really in my niche. Uh, Pampered Chef stuff I'm finding has not stayed up there in value. And I suspect it's because it's very, very easy to look up. And then eBay gives some suggestions for lower prices. And then sellers kind of fall prey to that. And we see this kind of a race to the bottom. And then we ditch the prices. It's unfortunate, but it happens. We just have to find the things that don't fall prey to that. It's getting harder and harder, but it's not impossible. A box thing. What is oh, hold on. What are you? Are you a ring display? Ooh. I feel like you are. I feel like you're like a jewelry display thing. A jewelry display thing with no price. I don't need it. I have so many, so many jewelry displays. I'm gonna leave that one. Oh look, there's more books. What is this? Oh, oh this oh darn it that's a really bad scratch the trash cans like this do really really well um i think that big i mean i know it's in the back mm, yeah i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it i may regret that that's broken kind of pretty very manly kind of a uh, jewelry box for $4.99 that's a tile on top. It's got an artist's name over here. Can I make it out? Mm, no, not so much. It's teeny, 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 tiny. Teeny, tiny. Mm. Do I need that for $4.99? I feel like, I feel like I do. All right, we're grabbing it. Let's see, that says the Mirage. It's a really nice box, but it says the Mirage on it. Why would they go and do that? Vintage Hallmark of St. James. Home decor. Put you back there so we can see what else is under here. Mm. Oh, goodness. Anything else? I don't think so. Look at these cool little guys. Unfortunately, that does say $24.99. Oh, it's like a plant stand. And how much are you? If you're $24.99, how much are you? Or is that for both of them? I don't know. Ugh. I feel like, I just feel like that's too much for me anyway. That's really cute. Little teacup shaped. I guess it would hold a little potted plant. Oh, I got distracted. Look at him. 99 cents. Little fella, you're coming with me. Okay, really hard to see these shelves, I know, because everything kind of blends into the black shelf itself. But there's nothing, nothing too fabulous except, look down there. Hmm. This is a bridge see if you've got any maker information on the back I don't see it's not super old it's not like um, you know uh, 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 what am I trying to think of like the goodness I can't think of the name of them the metal sculptures that you put on the wall it's not one of those <laughs> um, it is it is kind of cool but I think it's big it's bulky I'm gonna leave it let somebody else discover that. This is a nicely made basket, except for this little boo-boo right there. I kind of like it. All right. The silvers are a little easier to see, but still eh, nothing too exciting here. All right, let's go down the plastics. 
see what goodies might have gotten mixed in here or if there's some really cool like Disney or some kind of collectible item like maybe a stitch little bottle there oh he's really really scratched up that's too bad he was cute and then what's this down here this looks like that bamboo dinnerware yeah the organics mmm I'm hungry and it's a sloth Lila and Jack hmm Lila and Jack $5.99. It's kind of cute. I might look that one up too. Oh, this only sells for about $12. So we're going to put it back. But it's always good when you don't know a brand. I would hate to like look it up when I got home and find out it was worth, you know, $40 or $50 and I left it behind. So that's why I stop and look up things like that that are new in the package. All right, glassware. I've been finding some fairly good things in the glassware lately. Let's see if tonight is an exception to that rule. What are these? What are these? These are Moulin Rouge glasses with little can-can dancers. They are $1.99 each. I feel like those are newer though. Those are not old. Hmm. Okay, just might be one of those nights that I am just going to be able to whiz right by the glassware without putting anything in the cart. And actually, it's, I, I kind of am not, I'd have to rearrange some to get some glassware in here. I would do it if there was something really, really cool. You know me, I would do it. Oh, something just took a crash. Wasn't me. I love his color. Love his color. It's $2.99. Again, I feel like my viewers would probably love him. So I'm going to grab him. Oh, let's see. Mugs, mugs, mugs. Nothing is really calling to me in the mugs which is okay. It's okay. I have plenty and plenty of mugs to sell. Oop! but then somebody gave up their Lilo uh, and Stitch collection, it appears. He's in good shape. $1.99. $1.99 for a little Stitch. Okay, we will grab him. And right next to it is this little Stitch. <laughs> How cute is he? He's also $1.99. That is a good deal. We'll grab him too. I just decided to look up here. I thought that this was a Star. Is it? A, it is a Starbucks. It is a Starbucks Universal Orlando Resort. That's pretty specialty. For a dollar ninety nine. Okay, you, I, you can't. You can't go wrong for a Starbucks mug for a dollar ninety nine. I am injured. I have been stabbed by a sailfish. He just reached right out and got me. Oh, he got me good. Owie, owie, owie. All right. I'll make it through, though. I'll be okay. Kind of caught me off guard, though. <laughs> like, I just. Oh, why does that have a big old fat hole in that? How do you put a hole in something like that? That's. That's odd. Oh, that big, pretty Italian. Pasta bowl is still there. And there's a really pretty pot here, but oh my gosh, it's uh, definitely seen some better days. That's a shame. Oh, is it? No. No. Okay. It took me a minute. It took me a minute. Oh, look at these cute little guys. I don't think those are the. They, there's no way for them to hang on this salt and pepper hook. So I'm a little confused. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I wonder what actually was supposed to be on there. Oh, there we go. 
There's the trivet for the season. It's a Ray Dunn. A oh, humbug. But Ray Dunn, not so great. Oh, here is the pattern that Jordan's been collecting now. No, actually, I don't think that is. I think this is slightly off. Never mind. Scratch that. Thank you to everyone who told me that this item is for stovetop grilling, I guess, which does, I'm still a little puzzled because wouldn't you get your stove really, really dirty if, if you put the food in here and you put it, I still don't understand. I still don't understand how that's a thing, but okay, okay. Maybe that's why it ended up down at Goodwill because somebody tried it and then was like, oh no, oh no, this is no good. All right, we are in the dishes. Let's see what the pattern is on here. It's Harmony House, Bittersweet, and then all that. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot to uh, take in there. Uh, nothing in the dishes this time. Nope. Okay, looking in the bathroom stuff and the mishy mashy stuff. There's a whole bunch of these. These look like maybe they came out of um, hotels. Like some hotel upgraded all of their hair dryers and the, donated the old ones to Goodwill. I betcha. I betcha that's what it is. Alright, nothing here today. We've got car stuff and are you a little leaf thing that goes over a bed what what are you it's an ikea thing for 3.99 i know this thing is worth more than 3.99 i know it is i am grabbing that because sometimes you just you just know Ooh, look at that straw bale Ooh, no i i <laughs> I go to the feed store and I get the big ones. Pressure gauge. But then what do we have here? We, oh, I could make Ozzy into a matador. I could do it, I could do it. No, I won't, I won't do it to him. Poor little Ozzy, he gets picked on. Cause he's just so perfect for that kind of stuff. He's just perfect. I was out. Is that one of those candles? Oh yeah, it's one of those blossoming candles. Got it. Create your own characters kit. Don't need that. Don't need any of it. We'll keep moving on. Well, they certainly got the lamps restocked. This was down to just a few of them the other night. And look at here. Lamps galore again. But we don't need any of these. Look at this really cute cart. Ooh, 100 bucks. It is 100 bucks, and it is not that high a quality, but it's super adorable. All right, I still really, really need a nice Christmas tablecloth. That or I've got to get through my Christmas stuff and find the ones that I purchased like all year long. Because remember, I told you, I told you, get close to the holidays and those Christmas tablecloths get sought after. So, uh, yeah, now's the time. Get them listed. People are thinking about the holidays and, and decorating their tables and such. So I just need one for the store so I can set up a little, like a dining vignette kind of a thing. I need the tablecloth. I'm going to have to find it. That's kind of a nice quality pillow. But I'm not going to get it. Got some doggies. The seat cushions are still here. Yes, I am. Look at, I'm a mess. Uh, I it it caused me. It did me some damage. I, I did some harm. I don't know. I should be a little mad at it. The pillows, they're all still here. Ooh, we've got some little army guys. I don't think they're old ones, so I do look for the old ones. I have a whole bunch. I still need to sort and baggy and probably put in a whatnot sale. That's where I like to put things like that. And the toys? Toys are not so restocked up. What? You're a fly. What? No. 
Oh, it's a dog toy. It's a dog toy. Dragonfly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You squeak or something? You, you don't. What? I mean, it says mightymydogtoy.com. That is, that is fantastic. <laughs> are you a squish? You are a squishmallow. What are you? You are a bee squishmallow and you are how much? You're three ninety nine. dollars I like that price for a Squishmallow. I did end up getting a few pieces of clothing, mostly men's clothing, that I am going to gift over to my friends, Sunny Las Vegas and Mikey Bags of Money. So, you know, maybe watch their channels. They might show up over there. Oh my goodness, look at all the shoes coming out. Let's just take a little gander and see. Mad love. That's a lot of shoes. Those are kind of cool. I know I know a little bit about shoes, shoe buying. I mostly look at things for my own purchasing. Like, I really like these. Who makes you? More importantly, what size are you? Would you fit me? I don't know. What size are you? There, no. I hate that when you, you can't find sizes in shoes anymore. It's very, very frustrating. All right, stand by. Ah, they're nine and a half, nine and a half, too big, too big, but I really liked them. Those are like riding boots, but those are more fashion-y. I'm always looking for stuff like that for Rachel. All right, I don't see any boots we need and I don't see any shoes we need. All right, taking a peek through the purses, you can do anything with the right pair of shoes. What a cute tote. Who makes you? Oh no. Oh, you're we $12.99, but who are you? You are. You are. Made in USA. I don't know who you are. Very, very cute though. I do like that, but not for $12.99. Yeah, it's not really my uh, price point. Okay, let's see. I don't see much new here. This all looks like it was here the other day when I was here. I don't see a lot of new purses being put out. Kind of peeking at the boots. I don't see anything there. And I did. I did go through these new racks. And I did find a couple things for myself. I will show you. I will show you. So we've got a little Tom and Jerry action here. And I just got a nice, like a nice green top. And then I found some Disney hoodies. Ah, I guess I need to show you Blood Bear. Stand by. All right, here we go. I'm a really big fan of the Grumpy. I think he's completely misunderstood. Does he need a little attitude check at times? I think he does. I think he does. But, you know, well, we can give him a pass. So this, uh, this one kind of surprised me. See that little Disney castle peeking out there? And then I turn it over and it's... Uh, it is the evil queen. I may resell this one. I'm not really an evil queen, but I can't I can't pass by a good Disney hoodie. And then this one. This is just this is just fun, right? That's just fun with all like those graffiti color kind of things going on there. Yeah, I like it. All right. We're headed to the checkout with my big giant cart full of stuff. Actually, it's mostly big stuff. I didn't really get that much. I'm going to tell you everything I bought how much I paid, and how much it is worth over on eBay. Stay tuned for that, and then we'll be back in the car.
epic shopping trip. Wow. I wasn't sure how much was going to still be on the, or not still, but be restocked on the shelves. But a lot of these things have today's date on the tag. So I just lucked out that they brought out some really great stuff late in the day. And uh, it's ending up in my cart and in my car. So wow all right guys i'm gonna give a store update very very soon things are moving along very nicely some pretty amazing things happened today which makes it we will e oh, officially no officially be opening the doors on december 7th december 7th we will open the doors the only caveat is it is possible we may have to open as cash only. It's possible. Now we have to push through the merchant account and get some things set up, but cross fingers, we can get that done and everything can just be a go. But one way or another, we will have the doors open December 7th. <sighs> it's a good day. It's just been a really, really good day. And now I think Noah has cooked some steaks or is about to cook steaks and I am going to get home to enjoy that with my kids and uh, enjoy the rest of this evening and you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.